Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a makeup tutorial. I have accumulated so many new items and I cannot wait to just try them out and experiment a little bit. So all I know is I want to do a cut crease. I want to do a chit chat, get ready with me. So we're just gonna go with the flow, see what happens. Hopefully it turns out well. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, then you wouldn't know that I've been sick for the past two or three weeks now. So I'm really sorry about the inconsistent uploads. I woke up feeling so much better today, which I'm really happy about. So hopefully this is the start of me getting back on track and better. Yay! Anyways, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. Alrighty, my little chicken wings. So I'm going to start by taking some Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot all over my lid just to get rid of those veins. You guys know this. I do this in every single video. My skin must be really dry or something because it's really like clinging to the dry patches on my lid and it looks a bit flaky. Oh well. Let's ignore that. The palette that I'm going to use today is the Tartlet in Bloom Tarte Palette. This has really, really pretty shades and these colors are super pigmented. So I really want to do a cut crease. I'm not too sure how to do it. I've practiced a few times and the line as like the cut crease was really sharp. So I want to try and use like more fluffy brushes so it's like nice and blended. I'm really hoping it's going to work out. So the first color I'm going to take is Sweetheart. It's this really nice cool tone pink shade. So this is just going to be a light transition shade. I'm just going to pop this from inner corner to outer corner. I think too dramatic. So you know what's crazy? Ever since I've been sick, my lips have completely deflated. So if you guys didn't know, I had lip injections about five months ago now. I can't believe how fast the time is going. Like it's so crazy. I thought I got it like two months ago and I was like, why are my lips going down? But the more you get sick, the more your body like eats the sugar out of your lips because I was injected with some sort of sugar product. So <laughs> there goes my lips. I'm pretty sure they're back to normal, um, but I'm going to book in and go get them a bit bigger in about a month. So I'm really excited about that. I literally have one lady that I'm going to go with for the rest of my life. I swear to God, she's the only person I trust. I saw on Lauren Curtis's Snapchat that she had some problems with getting her lips done and I'm pretty sure she had to get them taken out. I could not imagine how scary that would be like having to go through all the pain of getting needles in your lips and then having to get it sucked out. Like that is so unfortunate. That's why you guys really, really need to look into who you go to before you actually get them done because that stuff can happen. Now I'm gonna take the shade Rebel, which is this one right here. It is a lot darker than the one we just put in. So this is gonna be like the cut crease shade. I hope this works. So I'm gonna hold the brush downwards and start creating a new crease. I wanna go a little bit higher than mine. The next shade I'm taking is Lida, which is a darker, richer brown. So I'm going to take that on a flat shader brush and use the point to really get a harsher line than what I already have. For the longest time of making makeup tutorials on my channel, I haven't been completely happy with my makeup skills. I feel like I was just really lacking in a lot of departments, but over the past like two months or so, I've been practicing a lot more and I can definitely see a slight improvement which is so motivational, motivational for me because I want to get obviously better at makeup and I know now I just need to practice. I just, I guess, was lazy with practicing and stuff, but it honestly makes such a massive difference the more you practice. Now I'm just going to take some Too Faced Glitter Glue and put this all over my lid because I want my glitter to really stick. I want to use my, wait, is this Violet Voss? Yeah, this is the Violet Voss glitter in the shade Lily. I've never used any kind of purple colors on my lid so I just thought it'd be fun to play around with some different colors and I love glitter on my eyelids so much so I'm just gonna put a bit on the back of my hand and work that all over my lid now it's time to pack this all over the lid oh it's all pretty Now it's time for the face, so I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base because I love dewy skin. I'm just going to paint this all over. Next step is to prime my face, so I'm taking the NYX Angel Veal Primer. I've heard some amazing things about this product, so I cannot wait to try it out. Oh, it's kind of stuck. Popeye, come out. Um, oh, oh. 
I knew that was going to happen. I don't even think we'll need this much, but let's work a little bit into the face and then wipe the rest on the towel that I'm sitting on. Huh? I've never really had amazing experiences experiences with primers. Um, I never noticed my makeup staying on like extra long, except for the Nivea Men aftershave balm. But my friend Michael was like, you can't use that. It makes you like get little dots all over your face. And I had a, a, like a few dots on my face, but I don't really mind that much because I think I'll just use the Nivea Men aftershave balm at like festivals and kind of like places that I need my makeup to stay on for the whole day because that does work. But not just for like everyday use anymore. Mm. That primer feels really good. Now it's time to play around with some new products. So I have the Iconic London brushes here. I've seen so many people rave about these and I've seen so many people use all their other products on Instagram. So I have very high expectations for this brand because everyone is just obsessed with them. So I'm going to use, I think this brush right here for my foundation. I'm so excited. And then I think I'll use some other ones for like contouring and stuff. So the foundation I'm using today is the EX1 Invisiwear. This one is in the shade ugh, F200. So I'm going to leave all of these products that I'm using in the description below if you guys are interested in them. My tan is fading. So this is the only color. I think this is the only color that will work for me. Let's do this. Whoa. Okay. All right. Oh, the coverage of this foundation though. And the color. Oh my God, this is going on so quickly. Oh. First impression, this is honestly the quickest way I have ever applied foundation. Usually I use like a beauty blender or just a normal stippling brush, but this is taking less than half of the time, which is amazing. Let's try and build the coverage up a little bit. Now it's time for the forehead. Let's do this. I'm just gonna put my hair up because I know you guys are probably getting annoyed by now because I am. Now time for concealer. I'm taking the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in the shade Light. So I'm just gonna put this right under my eyes to cancel out the discoloration. My purpleness under here has been crazy lately because I've been sick. Um, so I'm just really gonna go in there. You know, now it's time to blend, blend, blend. Now it's time to bring in my cream contour kit. This one is from Iconic London and it's called the Multi-Use Contouring Set. I am so excited to use this. I have tried the middle shade before, but that one's too light for me. So I'm going to try this one over here. And I just really want to brighten up this area here and down the center of my face. Yeah. So I'm just taking a really, really small amount because this stuff is very pigmented. I'm just going to put this where I want to highlight. As you can see, it's already brightening up under my eyes. And I'm also taking that down at the center of my nose and in between my brows and on my chin. Foundation never sticks to my nose, so I think I found the solution. This stuff actually isn't budging at all. And you can't see my little freckles on my nose. This is amazing. Ha <laughs> ha. Girl. For a little bit of cream contouring, I'm taking this middle shade right here. Again, a very, very small amount because a small amount goes a very, very long way. So just putting this directly under my cheekbone to add a little bit of structure. This color is gorgeous. So I love having a really glowy complexion. So that's why I'm using lots of cream products today. And I'm also going to take this around my forehead as well. I feel like this just evens out the whole like contouring look. A little bit of nose contouring. I'm going to take the same shade and I'm just going to pick up a little bit on the side of this brush. Tap it on my hand because we don't want it to be too intense for the nose. Considering I don't even know how to nose contour, but let's try. This actually looks pretty damn good. So I'm going to keep this area free right here and I'm just going to focus it on the bridge at the top. I'm just lightly patting. Cool. That's easy. Now it is time to try the one and only highlighting stick by Iconic in strobing stick. No, it's called a strobing stick. Oh my God. So this is what the color looks like right here. It's a really nice champagne color. And I have heard so many people talk about this. I'm excited to try this. Okay. So I'm just going to take a little paddle brush and put it on my cheekbone. So I'm going to have to set under my eyes with powder. So I'm not going to take it too far up here because I don't really like mixing 
powders on top of highlighters because it kind of defeats the purpose. So let's go straight in. Uh, this is my favorite part of any makeup look. Just being glowy. Hey, what's up? Hello. Look at that. Look at that. Happy days. Oh my goodness, I'm nearly out of my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is a disaster. So, there's a little bit left. I'm going to take a little bit of this powder and set underneath my eyes with the clean spot of my beauty blender. I mean, kind of clean. Time to brush all that powder away. Now it's time to move on to the brows. So today I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. I am so excited because in a month I'm going to get my eyebrows feather tattooed again because I think my skin is just rejecting the ink in the arch area for some reason. I'm not too sure why, but I can't wait for them to be on fleek again and for them to get a pluck because, well, they're hairy. I never really find people filling their eyebrows in too fun to watch at all. So let's just make this quick. So the brows are done. Now I'm gonna highlight underneath my eyebrows. So I'm taking this color here from the same palette that we've been using and I'm just gonna put this directly under my brow and I'm not gonna bring it too far down. Let me keep it nice and high. Look how fluffy my brows are. Now for under the lash line, I'm taking the shade Rebel, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to take this from inner corner to outer corner. And this is going to really proportion the eyeshadow look. And then with a the darker shade, I'm just going to put this on the outer corner to really deepen it up. So I did bring that other shade down quite low because I want it to be nice and smoky. Now I'm going to take this gel liner by Colourpop. It is in the shade Cry Baby. It is a beautiful violet pink and it matches perfectly to the glitter on my lid. If I could go back, I would have used this as a base so the purple was more intense. But let's make it more intense by lining the waterline. I have very, very sensitive waterlines, so let's hope it doesn't make me water. I have an even better idea to make this more intense. So I'm going to take the Zoeva Graphic Eyes and this is a beautiful purple shade. I'm just going to line my waterline with this and hopefully it's a bit more intense. Just, I just think I just think the color I just put on then is a little bit too, I don't know, it's just not very stand out -y, you know what I mean? Holy chickens, this is very pigmented. Check it out. Ooh. Now it's time for mascara. I'm taking the MAC Extended Play Giga Blush Lash Mascara. This is one of my favorites. I only recently discovered this and so far it's the best mascara I've ever used. So just coating my top and bottom lashes. Now it's time to pop some lashes on. These ones are from Huda Beauty, one of my favorite eyelash companies. They also have other stuff as well, but I haven't tried that out, but hopefully I can one day. Now it's time for blush. I feel like I need to add a little bit of color to my face. So I'm taking the MAC blush in the shade Margin. It is a beautiful shimmery bronzy pink shade, but I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this and put it on the apples of my cheeks. I've never used this shade, so I'm really excited. I don't want it to be too pink just because I have purple on my eyes. So just something subtle. Is that even a thing with me? Subtle? Probably not. I might just skip the bronzer today because we do have that contour going on down here and that looks really nice on its own. So let's move on to the lips. Would it be cool if I did a purple lip? We go all out today. Maybe I'll do two lip options. So this one is the BH Cosmetics in the shade Wham. I mean, whoa, whoa. The closest lip liner I have to this lipstick is the ColourPop in the shade Heart On. The heck? This ain't purple.
Well, I mean, this looks crazy. I think it actually looks kind of cool. But I am going to give you guys a nude option as well, just because <laughs> it's not very wearable. You know what I mean? Now it's time to go in with the nude lips. So I'm starting with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Spice. I'm just going to outline this. Hopefully all the purple gets covered. Then I'm taking the Buxom... What even is this? I got this from America. Nude True Nude Lip Foundation. And then taking a lighter shade in the middle because... It just looks weird. Okay, I have the perfect idea on how to make my lips not look as wrinkly. I actually love the color of all of these products together, but I really want it to be glossy and not wrinkly. So I'm taking the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in the shade Boy Bait. I'm so excited. I got this. I love it so much. So there we have the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave all the products that I use in the description below if you guys are interested in anything. Overall, my favorite thing would have to be the gloss. That is amazing. I love the highlighter. I love the contour. Everything is just, I think, working really well for me today, which is um, very unlikely because a lot of the time I do makeup tutorials, I have to refilm them. Anyways, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. I've missed you so, so much. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because it helps me out a lot. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.